So it's 2025, and the habit of reading docs among developers is slowly fading. Especially new developers, because they have the attention span of a goldfish, and just looking at a bunch of text at once makes them lose focus. Instead, they'll watch a 20-minute tutorial on YouTube, scroll through five different Stack Overflow threads, or ask ChatGPT for help. All to integrate a new tool or solve a bug that was literally explained in the first two paragraphs of the official documentation. The problem is new developers treat documentation like it's optional. They think it's too boring, too long, or written in some alien language. And honestly, I get it. Some docs are intimidating. They're packed with jargon, endless pages, and don't always feel beginner-friendly at all. But by avoiding docs, you're actually making things harder for yourself. Tutorials and Stack Overflow only show you a small piece of the puzzle. The moment your problem is slightly different than others, you're stuck again. That's why so many beginners spend hours debugging something that the docs already explained. If you're one of those who avoid reading docs, don't worry. I'll give you the method most experienced developer used to go through the docs and actually understand it. So firstly, let's understand, why do developers avoid docs like it's some ancient scroll written in a dead language? Firstly, it's overwhelming. Most of the tools come with hundreds of pages of documentation. When you're new, you don't know where to start, so you give up and run to the nearest tutorial. Second, the video culture. Online content makes everything look fast and easy. They can find solution for their problem in five-minute video, so when beginners see a wall of text in the docs, it feels boring compared to someone hand-holding them through a video. And lastly, instant gratification. Googling or asking ChatGPT gives you quick, copy-pastable answers. Reading docs requires effort and focus, which doesn't feel as rewarding in the moment. So naturally, people take the shortcut. So you might think, I can find a solution for my problem without reading docs. Why are you telling us to read them? Well, yes, you can find answers or learn by watching YouTube tutorials, and here's the downside of all this. First, shallow knowledge. Tutorials and quick answers might tell you what to type, but they rarely explain why it works or what the line of code does. So when something slightly different comes up or the copy-pasted code doesn't work, you're lost. Second, more bugs and wasted time. Ironically, the docs usually have the exact solution, explained clearly. But if you avoid them, you spend hours bouncing between blog posts, stack overflow, or random copy-paste snippets that might even be outdated. Lastly, dependency. If you never learn to read docs, you become dependent on tutorials, AI, or other developers. That's fine as a beginner, but in a real job, nobody's going to make a YouTube video on the exact bug your team is facing. So what's the solution for this? How can you read the docs the right way? Do you have to sit down and read every page of documentation like it's a novel? Of course not. Nobody does that. Here's how you should be going through the docs. Number one, start with a quick start or getting started guide. Almost every tool, library, or framework has one, and it's usually enough to get you running. Go to their official docs, search for quick start or getting started in the table of content, and follow it. Not only you will have a working code, you'll understand why it works. Second, think of docs as a map, not a textbook. You don't have to read everything from start to finish. Just skim the sections so you know what's available. That way, when you hit a problem later, you know exactly where to look. Let's say you have integrated Stripe on your application. Suppose a new requirement is to handle multiple currencies. You can directly go to that section and understand how it's done. Lastly, use docs as your first stop, not your last resort. Before you Google, before you ask ChatGPT, check if the docs have the answer. Nine times out of 10, they do. If you start practicing this, you'll start building a skill most beginners ignore. The ability to learn any new tool or solve bugs on your own, straight from the source. There can still be condition where you can't find solution for your problem in docs. In that case, you can do Google search for your problem and you'll most probably find a solution in Stack Overflow. So yeah, reading docs isn't boring if you do it right way. It makes you independent, faster, and more confident. Suddenly, bugs that used to take hours to solve feel trivial, and integrating a new tool or learning a new framework becomes way easier. Think of it this way. Tutorials and AI can teach you how to do something, but docs teach you why it works. 
And understanding the why is what separates a good developer from a great one. So next time you're tempted to skip the official documentation, don't. Open it and look out for the solution of your problem because investing a little time now can save you hours of frustration later. So that was it for today. If you're a developer, start giving the doc some love. And if you learned something from this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys in the next one.